The postal service in this country is something most of us take for granted. We just post our letters and next day they arrive at their destination. Simple as that. But few people realize what a vast operation this all is. 28 million letters and packets have to be collected, sorted and delivered in one day. Helping in this constant race against time is a giant machine called ELSI, standing for Electronic Letter Sorting Indicator Equipment. As you've seen, the letters are fed to an operator who reads the addresses and presses two identifying keys on a switchboard to direct the letters into any one of the machine's 144 pigeonholes, three times as many as a man can handle, at speeds of up to 6,000 letters an hour. However, despite the wonders of mechanization, one factor over which the GPO has no control is the human element, and that means us, the people who don't address their letters properly. By the strictest standards, eight million a day, a third of the total post, are incorrectly addressed, many of which end up in what is known as the blind department for extra research. Experts on blind duty, such as this one at London's Southeast District Office, spend many weary hours poring through bulky reference books to trace addresses, besides using quite a few expert tricks of the trade like this. It's been estimated that blind duties cost the post office £300,000 a year in staff time. But quite often, even a magnifying glass proves of no use. Some people write their addresses like doctor's prescriptions. Despite these efforts, quite a few letters have to be opened to find the sender's address, and sometimes that's missing too. Three million letters a year have to be destroyed. Hey, that one's mine! 